Thanks for Zooming today. Thank you for having me. Did you have any trouble logging in? Uh, that's, that's more of a personal matter, and if, if you don't mind, I'd rather not answer the question. Well, okay. Shall we get started? Sometimes. I, well, let me start by telling you about how this university differs from others in the state. We're a smaller school with smaller class sizes and personal attention. And we have the resources of a big state school. These resources include amazing internships and a faculty of practicing professionals. Well, that's just great to hear. You know, when I applied in state, one of my big fears was large lecture sizes overwhelming me. Well, that is exactly the atmosphere we try to avoid here. Now, have you thought about a major yet? Excuse me. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. You, you did not just ask to see my mother in a two-piece bathing suit, did you? No, I did not. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Let me explain. I have this rare neurological condition called chronoquest amixitis that uh, basically renders a person incapable of hearing questions correctly. And correctly, you mean? Oh, uh, when, when you ask me a question, I hear a completely different one. I see. How come I've never heard of this disorder before? Eleanor Roosevelt, probably. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I should have I should have told you about it sooner. I just don't like to bring it up. Well, Harold, I don't know what I can do exactly. A college interview is primarily the asking of questions. Well, so if a deaf person asked you for an interview, you would just refuse to do it? No, I would make sure a translator later fluent in sign language was available to aid in the interview. Well, I'm sorry that the AMA hasn't recognized CQM as a legitimate medical condition, but, you know, I try and live my life in a normal and healthy way, and i just appreciate it if you would do the same treating me as any other prospective student. I suppose you're right, but, well, okay, shall we continue with the interview? It's in Argentina, isn't it? Um, yep, sure is. So what kind of extracurricular activities are you interested in? Ooh. Melissa Block, seventh grade. Uh, we both had braces. It was a little awkward. What's your favorite subject in school? Oh, every Sunday. Uh, what's your favorite color? Um, I would take the South Pike Road, except during rush hour. Is it me or is this completely pointless? You know what? I don't know too much about the Salivary land. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, that went well. Thank you so much for zooming in. Thank you for having me. Can you send me your doctor's note? <sighs> Cookie Monster. It's, it's the googly eyes. I know. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, a little. Hi, thank you so much for Hi, um, a bag of lettuce and a pound of fresh mozzarella. What? Oh, I'm sorry. That was meant for someone else. Okay, later. Later. I've got an interview right now. I'm sorry, but if you're not even going oh, to talk to... No, let's talk. I'm a great multitasker. I don't think you are. Right now, I'm talking to my boyfriend in Hong Kong, ordering groceries for my mom online, and organizing my fantasy football league, so I think I can manage a simple interview. Oh, and half a pound of potato salad. Was that? Did you just tell me your grocery list? No, I didn't. Yes, you. Oh, hold on. This is Mean, my boyfriend from Hong Kong. I'll only be a second. Mean, zishi zemi huishi. No, this is not going to work. Well, zao zoe shin me. Hang up the phone, put away your other computer tablet, and just talk to me. But that's so unproductive. Actually, I'm serious. Everything off. All right, I'll have to call you back. Yeah, real control freak. Okay, well, who is All right, you've got my undivided attention. Phone two. I'm not on the phone. You're texting. Yeah, but texting doesn't count. It's an extension of who I am. Ash, I want you to put everything away. Focus on the interview. Put your phone away. This. 
this isn't going to go well. My phone died last year and I didn't have one for two days. I did terrible things to our cats. Put it away. Thank you. So Ashley, tell me a little bit about why you're thinking about coming here. Well, for starters, I'm fascinated in the 30% off sale couch. I'm sorry. What I meant to say was I'm motivated. I'm an active member in the community. And in Afghanistan, click here now and see why Ashley cheated on Mark. I can't believe. Whoa, Ashley, what was that? Look, I told you, I'm good at a lot of things. But once you get a man like Sammy Hoffman for prom king and drop 30 pounds, I don't think you have a chance this renaissance fair if the weather holds up. Okay, you're freaking me out. Freakonomics blew my mind over matter of fact that Anthony is so much cuter than my avocados to bee stings, kill more people than Shark Week, all this week on the discovery of sand people, naked pictures, Gossip. Talk about it. Status update. Status update. Okay, okay, okay. Take out your cell phone. Text. Thank you. New this week. Dick Whitman. I'm watching it. Right? Okay. Well, it was so nice to meet you. We'll let you know in a month when we've made our decision. Thank you. I'm sorry. There's a virus in Cambodia. Mean said he really liked your voice. He said it reminded him of Yehudi. Then I do 20 more reps, work on my core for 30 minutes. Then I hit the treadmill, burn the excess carbs, follow that immediately with a uh, wakey shake. And I start working exclusively on my glutes for the next two hours. I see. And this is for the purpose of... Bodybuilding. I haven't officially been accepted in any contest yet. I think that's because of my age. That's amazing. I know. I think the work, the work speaks for itself, you know? Do you mind if we talk about something else? Uh, sure. Do you mind if I uh, exercise for the next five minutes? It's important that I keep my reflective muscles active. I don't know what that means, but sure. Gee, thanks. So, what would you say was your favorite subject in school? Well, that's hard because, ah! Really, ah! Ah! Okay, I take it back. What I said earlier, this may be too distracting. And then after, ah! Free weights! Come on, get there! Get there! Noises. Well, if you think about it, that was really sit up 1,000. I've been doing these all day. Are you really exercising as much as you say? Because I can tell you, I would think you would be... Smarter? No, bigger. I mean, honestly, I can't even tell that you lift weights at all. Wow. You know, that hurts. That deeply hurts. Just because my physique and my sculpted body doesn't mean I'm not smart. I'm withdrawing my submission. Well, we don't really even have a bodybuilding program. Nobody does, but you have an excellent nutrition program. Your gym is amazing. My SAT scores and my GPA, you could have let me in on that alone. Jeez, you're right. How did you... Just because I'm cut like steel doesn't mean I'm not smart. There's no way we can start over? You snooze, you lose. You might want to get one good look at these before you never see them again. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? What? You're awake. Yeah. I thought you fell asleep. I'm not asleep, okay? Alright, well let's get started. Whatever. So what made you interested in our university? I don't know. You don't know? I just don't know, okay? God. Alright, well. So what kinds of things are you interested in? You know, school-wise or hobbies? Uh, stuff. Stuff. And things. Stuff and things. Yeah, stuff and things and whatever. Well, you must do something. Uh, I eat. That usually wipes me out. 
But what about clubs, sports, social things? Uh, I tried to start a nap club once, but like it was too hard. To start a club where you nap. Yeah, you gotta get signatures and like papers and stuff, and you gotta like get like. Jeff. What? But haven't you ever been inspired to do anything? Well, there was one thing, I guess. I saw it on the news and it got me thinking in like a motivated kind of way. Really? What was that? Uh, there was this woman who went into a coma from like this weird stroke or whatever. And like the doctors like spent years trying to get her out of it and they never really figured it out. So this made you interested in medicine or healthcare? Uh, no, it made me jealous. Like this woman, she's like having these tubes feed her and breathe for her and stuff. And you know how breathing sometimes just like so much work sometimes, you know? So this inspired you to be in a coma. Totally. Uh, oh, what's wrong? I'm just tired. Yeah, me too. Hi, you must be Kelly. Yes. Hi. Uh, can you give me a moment? I gotta find your file. Sure. Oh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? We never received your college essay. Is that right? Yeah, I'm not uh, sure exactly what happened. Do you have a copy of it? Oh, absolutely. I've got it right here in my bag. That's great. Thank you. So, uh, I'm sorry, this is your college essay? That's right. But it, this is a drawing of a girl in a pink dress saying, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's look at your transcript, shall we? You have no GPA. That's right. And you didn't take the SATs? Well now, how about that? According to this, you have a perfect attendance record, but have refused to do any homework or take any tests. That's right. But Kelly, I'm not even sure how you got to this point. You can't go to college without a GPA. Perhaps you'd like to see my recommendation. No, Kelly, I'm, there's, there's no way any university, let alone ours, is going to... This is a picture of a cat saying meow. Meow? Yes. Well, thank you for the interview. We'll be in touch. All right then, you take care. Okay. Oh boy. Please, hang up, you're freaking me out. So it's pronounced Dongri? Dongri or Malle Oi. Oh, that's how you spell Oi. Oi? I thought it was a smudge. No, it's an Oi. Great. So judging from your accents, clothing, and boomerang, I take it you are from Boss. Australia, right. But your family moved to the States a few No. You moved here when you were five. That's right. I'm surprised you kept your accent and your culture. Let me tell you something. When you're born in the water of the outback, amongst the roos, dingoes, and the didgeridoos, there's a part of you that never really changes. Oz isn't just a place, it's a state of mind. I see. So, Dungry, have you ever, what have you liked about living in the States? Oh, crikey, loads of stuff. Like what? Loads of stuff, I'm telling you. Can you give me an example? Eh, I like the zoo. You like animals? Eh, hey, yeah, of course. Well, that's great. Any in particular? Eh, um, I don't know. Uh, crocs, koala bears, wombats. Any that are not associated with Australia? No, not really. Um, it says here that you're on the track team. Oh, it's good times. That track, fun run? night. Eh, I don't really run as much as I walk. I don't really stay on track either. I like to 
meander about for miles and miles, spiritually alone, almost like I'm on a quest. So you don't really participate in track and field. You just go on walkabouts. Walkabout? Well, uh, you've gotten good grades, although you've managed to somehow only take gym and obscure courses on Australian history. And gym, they let me play rugby. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you for a Foster's? No. Oh, but I love Foster's. They're Australian for- I know. I, I know it is, but Dungry, why do you even want to go here? There are plenty of wonderful universities in Australia. Papa says it's a... Uh, too expensive, says I have to go and stay. But why here then? We don't offer any courses on Australia. And in any way, nor do we even have any travel abroad programs with Australia. Is that right? I'm afraid so. Well, crikey, I thought you did. Can I tell you something? Sure. Shucks, I don't think I really want to go to this school. on such short notice. Please, it was no trouble at all. So tell me about yourself. What subjects do you like in school? Do you have any hobbies? You know, stuff like that. Hobbies? I, I have a few, I suppose. I used to be really into swimming, but I haven't. Not since that day. Are you okay? We don't have to. No, no, I want to talk about it. I need to talk about it. It was a blistering summer's day. Bill Blakemore, who keeps these local weathermen, had said it was going to be one of the hottest days in recorded history and advised everyone to stay in at all costs. But I didn't listen. Swimming was my life, and life doesn't stop. Not even for a handsome weatherman with salt and pepper hair. I got to the pool early, put on my swimsuit, and began my morning stretches. It was during my warm-ups that I saw him. A little boy with fiery red hair and freckles sprinkled across his pale white skin, teetering on the edge of the pool. Before I could even think to warn him, his... He tumbled into the watery abyss. His body thrashed about violently, his eyes closed shut from the sting of the chlorine. His voice silenced from all the water he was swallowing. I... I jumped into the water and swam over as quickly as I could, but... I was too late. He was... That was eight years ago, and I haven't set foot in a pool since. Lily, that was very brave of you to share this with me. Witnessing a death like that, especially that of such a young child... Oh, he didn't die. He didn't? No, the lifeguard pulled him out of the water. Oh, well... Even seeing a near-death experience. He was only in the water for a few seconds when the lifeguard pulled him out. He was? Yes. I thought you said it was too late. It was too late for me. It, I couldn't save him because I was too late. So you saw a child fall into the pool and then a lifeguard pulled him out and that... You know what? Let's just move on. What is it about this school that interests you? Do you want to, why do you want to come here? There were a few reasons I supposed, but only one that ever really mattered. It was a crisp day in March, much like today. Amanda Barker, my best friend since third grade and I, were leaving Mrs. Fleener's excessively boring geometry class. Amanda asked me if I'd thought about applying to college. I said, yeah, a little. Then she told me about this university, how her sister was going here, and said I should check it out. I said, yeah, sure. I was flippant, disregarding my best friend's advice with two little inarticulate words. And those words were the last I ever said to Amanda. I am so sorry. Losing a best friend like that, I can't imagine how awful that must have been for you. It was, it really was. How old was Amanda when she passed? Passed? Died. Oh, she didn't die. What? No, she's going to Yale in the fall. She's very smart. I thought you said that was the last time you ever spoke to her. It was. We had a falling out after that. A falling out? What, like a big fight or? No, we just went our separate ways. It was mutual. 
So just to set the record straight, you saw a kid fall into a pool who was almost immediately picked up by a lifeguard and you lost touch with a friend. These are the events that have shaped your life and caused you so much emotional distress? You don't understand. You weren't there. You didn't see it happen. Oh, it was great to meet you. I have a meeting in a few minutes, so... Oh, thank you for having me. And, uh, you know, I know it's not my place, but you might want to consider some kind of therapy. Therapy, yes. I went to a therapist once. It was a chilly autumn day, and I was feeling optimistic. Well, your grades, recommendations, all look pretty good. Thank you. Is there anything else you can tell me about yourself? Something that's maybe not on the page? Yeah, let's see. I never played any sports in school, but I've played in a number of rec leagues. Volleyball, basketball, soccer. I volunteer at a soup kitchen every month. I'm a practicing vampire. And I teach sailing during the summer at a sleepaway camp. Is that all you're looking for? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm sorry, but can you elaborate a little bit more on the- uh... Soup kitchen? Well, I actually started because of my parents. They were very big into community service. No, not... I'm sorry. It sounded like you said you were a practicing vampire. Oh yes, pretty much my whole life. Okay, so you think you're a vampire. Oh no, no, that would be no, no. Okay, I guess I'm just a little- I'm a practicing vampire. It's completely different. So is this like a club or a role-playing game? Um, no, it's more serious than that. Basically, I live my life in preparation for the day when I will, hopefully, turn into a vampire. Turn into. Right, so I sleep in a coffin, avoid garlic, eat lots of bloody meat, chew with my fangs, all in the hopes that one day, if I'm diligent enough, I will turn into a vampire. I see. Um, well, then, uh, what are you doing here now? I mean, you shouldn't be awake during the daytime, right? That's a common stereotype. Vampires, just like humans, can walk freely in daylight without receiving even the slightest irritation of the skin. I see. So you're more like those Twilight vampires. Um, is that an attempt at humor? No, I... Because I don't find it funny at all. In fact, I find it pretty insulting. And frankly, pretty vampirist. Vampirist? Elizabeth, you're not going to turn into a vampire. There's no such thing as vampires. Wow, that may just be the most insulting thing I have ever heard. I'm going to leave now. Are you? Is this some kind of a joke? Did Saunders put you up to this? No, this is very serious. And when I get a hold of the NVUA, you're going to have a public relations nightmare on your hands. NVUA. National Vampires Union. Oh, oh, oh. All vampires should be respected and given blood. All right, well, you go and call the NVUA, say hello to Dracula, the Staten, all those whiny Twilight kids. Yeah, sure, I will, because we're just all the same to you. Honestly, I expect more out of this university. A union for vampires. And the entire audience completely drenched. Oh, man. Wow. Needless to say, that was the last time I ever went to SeaWorld. Well, I gotta tell you, man, everything looks great. Solid SATs, GPA high above our school's average, and your essay was, how to be honest, quite moving. Well, this is such a great university. I'd be honored to attend. Hey, we'd be lucky to have you. Are you applying to any other schools? No, just here. Oh, okay, great, great. So... Uh, yeah? I'm in then? Well... No, I mean, not yet. I've passed this along to my supervisors, and it's a process, you know. I can't officially... Pay attention. What? Pay attention, won't you? Is there a problem? That depends on you. You see, for reasons that I can't explain to you at this moment, it is vital that I attend this university. Years of SAT prep, AP classes, all in hopes of getting in today. Well, 
I'm sorry. I don't have the ability to just let you in right now. Forces are to be played here, my friend. Forces you cannot possibly comprehend. It is not vital, not just for me, but the entire student body and faculty, that I am enrolled, enrolled in this fall semester. Lives hang in the balance. You don't want to be responsible for a loss of life, do you? Of course not, but how is me letting you in today going to save lives? Well, you see, the world works in a series of connection. Every human being affects another one. Every decision has a consequence. And this decision, this decision right here, will be the biggest one you'll ever make. Ben, you're being incredibly big. And besides, it's not as simple as me letting you in. An oral agreement is legally binding in this state. So in fact, it is just that. Look, what I can tell you is that it's a practically a done deal. I'm not going to give you a bad recommendation. With your stats, it'll be just easy to get in. That's not good enough. Then let's not ruin what was a great interview by... I'm not hanging up until I get my answer today. Well, you're going to have to because I have another perspective at four. No, you don't. Your four o'clock canceled. You don't have another appointment until 445 with Rebecca Smith. How, how did, you, did you break into my email or something? That's not important right now. What's important is you tell me exactly what I was hoping to hear. I'm going to hang up now. See you later. Uh, hello? Hello? Are, are you still there? Computer troubles, huh? All right. Who are you? A name is but a label, my friend. And I have very many of those. But you see, that's not what's important right now. What's important is you tell me exactly what I was hoping to hear. Ben, if I could, I would. It's just, wait, where do the lights go? Hmm. It's only an allergy, my friend. Circuits break all the time. Please, I don't have any real authority. Acceptance for me would be meaningless. Then there's no reason not to say it. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing this. You're doing this. And it can all go away with... Three little words. But it won't. No, those aren't the right words. Say it. Just say it. Okay. You've been accepted. You've been accepted. You'll be enrolled in the fall semester upon hearing of your acceptance. Oh, this is so great. I've got, I've got to call my mom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. All right, so let me in your school, okay? What? No, that's not how this works. Oh, shut up. Sure it does. No, it isn't. Look, my mom's being super annoying right now. She's all like, get into college. And I'm like, okay, well, if I get into college, will you shut up? And she's like, no, I'm not going to shut up until you get out of my house. And I'm like, okay, well, if I get into college and move out of the house, then you have to shut your mouth forever. And she was like, fine, just get out of the house. And... I made her sign a contract so she couldn't take it back later. And she did. It's legal now. What? That can't be legal. Yes, it is. I got a lawyer. It's happening. So let me into school so I can shut her up. No. I'm not going to let you into school just to shut up your mom. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Well, then I'll beat you up. You'll beat me up. Yeah. With my fists. And your face. Together as one. This is over. I am not going to be threatened by a bully. You're going to be threatened if I find you. No, I won't. That's what I thought. Acceptance granted. You will not get in. See you in the fall when I come to your school as a student. Max. Hey, thanks for having me. Great, sure. Right, so shall we... Walk and talk? If you need to go somewhere, I could totally do this while walking. No, I don't want to go anywhere. I just was going to say... That there's no smoking? No problem. I never smoke. My mom caught me smoking once and threatened to disown me, and boy, I don't want that. No, can you just let me finish my... Sandwich? Sentence. You're not letting me complete any of my sentences. I'm sorry. I just... I get so nervous when I go in for interviews that I jump again sometimes. 
Oh, there's nothing to be nervous about. This is just... The most important meeting of my life, and if this doesn't go well, I might as well. No, no, that's not what I was going to say. This is just an interview. That's all. Oh, right. No need to get overexcited. Most of our decisions will be based on your grades, SATs, BMI? And... What? Body mass index? No. How many boys I've kissed in seventh grade? No, why would that matter? Uh, I don't know, nervous tick. Oh gosh, I'm ruining this, aren't I? No, just, okay, let's just take a deep breath and try not to answer until I finish talking. Novel? Until I finish talking, okay? Don't just guess at what the question might be. Just wait until I'm finished. Right, yeah, of course. What is it about this school that makes you think you would make a good addition to our student body. Well, that's easy. I would make a good addition to the student body because I'm energetic, I'm a hard worker, and... And... Well, that's fine. You don't need to... Speak anymore. No. I've already been accepted. Really? My grades are good enough? No, stop. In the name of love, stop or my mom will shoot. No. No, I swear. I know what you're going to say this time. Stop sign. Stop taking up. Stop, drop, and roll. Yep, that's what I was going to say. Stop, drop, and roll. You got it. Yes, I knew I was getting close. Yep, you really you should go now. Mm, yes, you really should go now. Two for two. Uh-huh. Oh, I should go. You said it, not me. Right. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks. The Lord. Hallelujah. Yep, you got me again. Three for three. Nice. I'm sorry, miss. Are you walked into the right meeting? I know where I am. Don't you tell me where I am. I'm sorry, I just... I'm here for my interview now. Get to it. I... You're Gertrude Sheridan? Uh-huh. I... I wasn't expecting someone so... Obviously, you weren't expecting a lot of things, but here we are. So, come on, ask me some questions. I don't have all day. You want to attend our school's four-year undergraduate program? Boy, you're deaf and dumb. Your mother must be so proud. You should have my recommendations. I do. I have them right here. Thank you. So, it doesn't appear that you have a GPA, per se, but... It seems like you did good, get good grades in school. Whole mag and in typing. I was one of the fastest typists on the Stratocaster L6 in my class. That's good. It even says that you won the Women Can Work 2 award. They picked 20 women across the country who showed an aptitude for higher learning. Even got to meet the president, Dwight D. Eisenhower. I liked him. Less handsy than most politicians. Well, this is good. It's very outdated, but it's good. Miss Sheridan, I hope you don't mind me asking, but why didn't you go to college right after you graduated from high school? Got married, had kids, plus the colleges didn't have what I was looking for. I suppose you're right. I mean, what were your options back then? Nursing, teaching, or secretarial school, right? Well, that's all fine and good. I mean, the social scene. Was it anything like it is now? The social scene? You want to go to this university for the social scene? That's right. I've seen the movies and the TV shows, House of Animals and whatnot. I know what happens there now, and I want me some of that. Well, Miss Sheridan. Please, call me Gertie. Miss Sheridan is a widower with 10 grandkids who plays bridge on Sundays. Gertie is a free-spirited freshman who's up for anything. And I mean anything. Miss Sheridan, this is Please, not Gertie. This is not a party school. We are a serious university. And now I'm not trying to be ageist, but... Gertrude? Gertrude? <laughs> Never bet on my dying. My kids have been trying to get rid of me for years. It's not happening. That's not funny. It's not supposed to be. It's a warning. Don't count me out because of my age. I'm here, I'm fierce, and I'm up for a good time. Frat parties, hazing, keg stands, you name it. Count me in. I'm not concerned about your age. I'm concerned about your lack of discipline. 
This is a serious school. We don't want people who are interested only in partying. I see. Maybe I should have come across as a more serious student in the interview and then hit the social scene once I got in. That's usually what most people do. Well, there's always state. They let anybody in. And that's Wipeout! Okay, well... And now for the orchestral opening of Sweeney Todd. Hi, thanks so much for signing in today. Thank you, Owie loves being here. Up high, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, a high 30. Owie loves it. Okay, well... Take a look at your transcript. <clears throat> sure, let's dive on in. Sure. A uh, transcript diving. Yep. So lots of extracurriculars. Captain of the cheerleading squad. Go Blue Horns! President of the student body. Ayo. And a member of a comedy improv comedy troupe. A uh, member and co-director. Go ahead and give me a suggestion. No. No. I'm Mr. No. Would you like a slice of my negative pizza? Okay. Stop. Well, if you do enjoy a negative pizza, perhaps you'd like a zero calzone? No. Stop improvising and just bring it down a few notches. You got it. No. Don't, don't do that. Can you just answer a few questions without being so high energy? Absolutely low energy. You got it. No. See? The way you just said it, way too big. What? Are you saying this is a low energy school? No. A school of sad sallies and Debbie Downies and... Mo Moody Mollies? No. We'll turn that frown into an explosion, because Alvy's coming. No, I'm pretty sure you're not. Like nuts, I'm not. The Alvy train is coming. Its engine is being fueled by eco-friendly smiles. No. The train is stopping. You will not come here. You can't stop a dream. You can't contain a good feeling. Yes, I can. On top of the fact that you were the most annoying person I've ever met. Can't put a price on. You have a 1.5 GPA. You pass none of your classes. You will not go here or probably anywhere. These are terrible grades and no amount of cheering or good vibes or improvisational comedy is gonna change that. But I just, I just thought if I had a positive attitude and good energy, nothing could get in my way. Well, Albie, good attitude is helpful. But you have to do your homework, you pass your classes. You failed almost all of them. Oh my gosh, bad times, low fives, Alvy's a wreck. Now, come on, you must have known <laughs> So that down on life, down on myself. Why, Alvy? Why didn't you study? Why did you put so much emphasis on cheerleading and high-fiving people? That was bad time management. Bad time management. And that's why I got into public service, to help the community. Well, Pickles, I have to say that that is a very compelling story. But if you want to go to the school, I'm going to have to talk to your friend, Lynn. But Lynn's so shy. Isn't it more fun to gab with Pickles? It's different. However, I'm going to insist. If you want to come here, then Lynn needs to speak for herself. So, Lynn... Why don't you just take Pickles off your hand? That's right. Just take it off. That's right. This is a very safe environment. No need to hide behind... Hiya there, Pally. Stinky McCoy. Pleasure to meet ya. Say, are you related to a skunk or is that just your face? And I really found out by uh, joining the volleyball team, it showed me the importance of teamwork. Uh -huh. Well, Tony, your grades, SATs are right on par with your average. Great. I would really love to give you a recommendation, but I think we need to address the elephant in the room here. Oh, God. Is it my, t my breath? I forgot to brush my teeth. No, it's not your breath. I can't even smell your breath. Do I really need to say it? Uh, sorry, what did I do wrong? Tony? You're wearing a Santa suit to an interview. A what suit? A Santa. You're dressed up like Santa Claus. 
Is that a fashion designer? Because I assure you, it's not. My mom's been making my clothes since I was little because we don't believe in exploiting third world countries. You really don't know what I'm talking about. I'm uh, sorry, I don't follow the fashion trends. You're dressed exactly like Santa Claus right now. You don't know that. No, I don't know who that is. Really? Really? Look, I'm sorry this bothers you so much. Uh, red's my favorite color and I don't like form-fitting clothes, so I asked my mom to make them just a little bit bulky. Uh, I thought a black belt would go great with my, my boots, you know what I'm saying? It's just been my style for like the last four years. It's just how I roll. So you really don't know who Santa Claus is? No, I don't know who he is. Santa Claus. He's like the mascot of Christmas. Goes around on Christmas Eve, goes down your chimney, delivers presents to kids. Well, just the good kids. Naughty kids get coal in their stockings. He goes down your chimney and... Do you know this guy? Because this is ridiculous sounding. No, it's not real. It's just a story. You really don't know who this is. It's a story. Yeah. And you tell it around Christmas time. Yeah, but there are pictures of him everywhere. Coke cans, commercials. There's usually a Santa at the mall where you can take your picture with him. Oh my goodness. Ever since high school, my nickname was Clausy or Saint Nick. Kids would come up to me and sit on my lap and tell me things. Yeah, that's what they do with Santa Claus. I thought I had a gift! I thought people liked me and thought I was generous. Listen, I need to go. Well, wait, aside from your suit, your grades and extracurricular activities are really great. No, I, I need a minute. I, I just need to go. I knew I shouldn't say anything about this costume. And our women's basketball team, while not nationally ranked, has gone to the AA tournament for the last several years. And even if you're not interested in that level of commitment, we have several clubs where you can play on a more casual level. You know, I feel like I've been talking this entire time You've been very quiet. I don't think I feel so good. What gave you that idea? Yeah, 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 I'm on it, I'm on it. Trust me, trust me. I'm gonna change my five o'clock to six. With my Tuesday to Friday, flip a thing with the thing I got next month, so uh, don't worry about it. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, 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 hold on. <clears throat> I'll be done with you. I'm so grateful for your patience. We have a great combo. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay, Chief, we got to wrap things up. I'm psyched. I'm hungry. I'm pumped. We're going to blow this thing out of the water and blow people's minds. Manana. <clears throat> For your general, your patience and your general attitude. You're an ace in the hole. Oh, <laughs> uno momento. Uh, it's my bro, huh, Marty. He's such a jerk, I just gotta. Put your money where your mouth is, Marty Mar. Uh, love him, but wouldn't trust him with a pencil, know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Brett, you've wasted 30 minutes of my time. I know, I know. Well, it's inconvenient for me. I've got another student coming. And I got a mean green of fiber, so let's just bulldoze this thing, shall we? All right, get started. You know what? I'm going to skip the whole you ask me questions here. I take the reins. So here's me. I'm extremely competitive, and I'm the life of the party. I like your guys' aggressive economics program, and it's ties to Harvard Business, and it's Greek social scene. Going to pledge Cobra Kai. Sigma Phi Gamma, depending on the pledge class. My stats are well above your average. So uh, if you're in the boat, I'm driving the ship. We all good, baby? Uh, no. Not hey, at all. cranberries. All right, yeah. Yeah, what up, Buttercup? Yeah, just got down this lame face to face. Kidding me? No, this is the breast hair talking about here, baby. <laughs> 